Hi, and welcome to the Avid Stand here at 2019 IBC in Amsterdam. My name is Gil Gowing, Audio Application Specialist for Avid. We're here today to talk about the upcoming Avid Control app. Uh, if you're familiar with the Pro Tools Control app, this will be a new version that will be coming out with the S1 later in the year. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the new things that will be coming out with the app. So uh, one of the first big things is we've changed a little bit of the look. Uh, you can see that we've got some new uh, meter colors as well as uh, some uh, new fader caps as well as we've got uh, some new uh, functionality of bringing in EQ curves, dynamic plots, those type of things here on the mixer page. Uh, we also have a new meter page that gives you a more high resolution meter and some different feedback that's more reminiscent of our display modules on our high-end S6 surfaces as well. Um, along with this uh, metering app, uh, we also now have the ability to have the app rescale depending on what size of tablet or device that you're using it on. So for instance, if we come back over here to the mixer page and we see that we have eight channels normally uh, being viewed, we can come over here to our preferences under over here to our preferences under the mixer, and we can now make that 10 channels or even 12 channels. Uh, same thing with maybe tracks view, whereas normally we would see 40 tracks, we can like, take that down to say 60. So if we come back over here and look at the tracks view, we can see that we can get a lot more information on the screen. It can uh, really take advantage of what particular screen size that you happen to be working with at that point. Another really cool thing with this uh, the ability to actually kind of change things with the screen size is we now have the ability to actually change this and work in portrait mode. So this is going to be big for those that uh, might like to work in this type of orientation. And as a, a, a good extra thing of that, we come over here to like the channel view, you'll see that we actually have high resolution meters that now sit above the channel view. The channel view also has a new view. We've got added more kind of uh, S6 style graphics uh, into the view here as well. And then we can also switch over here to our soft keys and now we actually have a full meter bridge above the soft keys as well. Some other big announcements for this app is uh, in the past with Pro Tools Control it was only available on an Apple iPad. Beginning when we released the Avid Control app later in the year it will now be available on both iOS iPad and iPhone, as well as Android tablets and phone devices as well. So it will be mostly a universal app that can kind of work any way that you would like. It will still be a free app uh, at those app stores on the Apple iStore or, uh, I'm sorry, the Apple uh, iOS, iOS app store or the uh, Google Play store. Uh, and like I said, uh, don't have an exact date, but we hope to be shipping this later in the year. So. Thank you, appreciate your time, and uh, have a great rest of the show.